So who wants to learn about milestones? Yeah, you do. You do. Milestones function as checkpoints on your project timeline. They help you easily identify which stage your project is currently in and how far you are from completion. Project milestones let you know that you're on the right track and can answer the one question that both kids and clients have in common. Um, are we there yet? But what do milestones in project management actually look like? And what counts as a milestone? In this episode, we're going to cover what a milestone is, the best ways to create them, along with some examples of popular project milestones. First up, what's a milestone? Milestones are checkpoints that highlight the successful completion of major events, tasks, or groups of tasks along your project timeline. Your team reaches a milestone when you accomplish something notable, such as finalizing a business plan, launching your first marketing campaign, or getting your first 100 customers. Milestones are important in project management because they help you monitor project progress, spot potential bottlenecks, and identify when the project will be completed. Only events related to your project count as a key milestone. Sure, celebrating with a beer with your team after completing the project is an important event. Unfortunately, it isn't a project milestone since it isn't part of your project timeline. Before we dive into how to create them, let's walk through a couple of quick examples of common project milestones. Project approval is usually the first key milestone in a project's life cycle. Once the project charter is approved by an important project stakeholder or senior management, this milestone serves as a green light for the project team to begin their work. Another common example would be project phase milestones. Working on a project isn't just one long, drawn-out activity. A project is generally divided into multiple phases, like the development phase or the testing phase. To distinguish between these phases clearly, we use milestones at the start or end date of each phase. Now, all of these phases lead to our third example, the final approval milestone. Your team has finished building the product, and after rigorous testing and inspection, you're finally ready. But you can't celebrate just yet because you still have to present it to the main stakeholders. If the project meets the requirements, then your stakeholders give their seal of approval. Now your team can raise a toast to the project completion since you've reached the final milestone. All right, so now that we have a firm grasp on what project milestones are, here are four steps on how to create them. Step one, create a project goal. Your project needs to have a goal. Obviously, you can't work without a project objective. That would be like boarding a plane without knowing where it's going. Spoiler alert, you're not gonna like it. A project objective shows you how you'll be able to accomplish the goal. Step two, structure your project into tasks and subtasks. Brush up on the most recent developments in project management, then plan and structure the project to prevent things from getting off track. The best project management method is splitting your entire project into tasks and subtasks. This makes things easy and efficient to use. However, splitting a large project into dozens of tasks and keeping it well organized might feel like a pain. That's why we recommend adding checklists to your tasks and subtasks. A project checklist is perfect for simple to-do lists for mapping small tasks like quality check items. This way, your team can check them off as they progress. Number three, assigning the milestones. Now that your project has a clear structure, we can finally move on to the best part. Project planning. You'll first need to arrange your tasks and group them according to different project phases. Then, move on to milestone planning. First, identify the tasks at the start or end of any major project phase. Then, determine critical tasks. Lastly, determine the project task which needs project stakeholder approval. Identify the tasks that we mentioned in our milestone examples earlier and assign milestones to them. And finally, step four, use a Gantt chart to clearly map the milestones. Now that your milestones are ready, it's time to start mapping them. And there's no better way than with a Gantt chart. A Gantt chart is a method in which to create a visualization of your entire project timeline. It lets you visualize useful parameters like the project schedule, allocated time for each task and their current progress, assigned team members, and task dependencies. 
Additionally, they map out every critical milestone and minor milestone. This way, it becomes very easy to visualize your project milestone list. Milestones are key events that define your project's success. They not only help you track project progress, but also serve as checkpoints, keeping you focused on your overall goals. Use these steps to efficiently map out your milestones and ensure that your project is organized and set up for success. Cut. That's it. We're done. I can go play with the cats. Yes! <laughs>